So if you remember from the first video, we're trying to produce a 3D model of a yogurt pot that looks similar to the one you see here. We left things in the last video having separated our model up into the different materials that we required, so separate materials for lid, body, etc. But I um, think you'll agree it still doesn't look very realistic. If we render it just now, things still look fairly model-like. You can see the individual edges <clears throat> and surfaces in our model. So one thing we want to do is to smooth our model. Um, in the meantime, let me add another light as well, just so we can see, because there's actually, a, a, if I recall correctly, I think we made that surface on the top there green. So if we just hide the lid, yes. So let's just make sure that things are working okay. Let's zoom out a little bit and add another light source in here. So add lamp. And let's just render things again and make sure that we are indeed seeing that transparency on the lid and the, the foil coming through. So that looks good. All down to uh, lighting issues that we were just seeing that dark surface before. So to smooth things off, on our simple model, there's actually a very easy way that we can, uh, we can do this. If we select the shape and we're currently in object mode on the um, edit options, we can simply select the set smooth option down here and you'll see that it's changed the appearance of our object. And if we render that now, hopefully you can see the difference for the main body where that smoothing has been uh, applied. There is, and let's just select the, the lid here, there is um, some more complex operations you can apply. You'll see that now we've got the lid selected. The um, option to add an, a modifier is available to me. And if I select on that add modifier, there's a whole series of different modifiers that can be applied, including smoothing and this thing called Subsurf, which also does a smoothing operation. But um, I'd recommend you have a look at the Blender documentation or some of the Blender videos on the web. For those, we're just simply going to go with that set smooth option. And now let's go back and render our tub and you'll see that we've got much smoother lines now and uh, things are starting to look a little bit more realistic. Now we come to a slightly trickier part of the operation when we take some of our surfaces, in our case the main body and the foil lid, and we replace the simple coloured materials that we're using with imagery so that we can overlay the necessary artwork on these models. Now we do that work in Blender here so that when it gets translated and transferred into the world of WPF, um, those solid colours, if you like, become solid colour brush and the um, imagery that we're going to do now will become image brushes painting those surfaces. And that means once we're in the, uh, have the model in WPF, we can replace those uh, images with any images we want to and make multiple different products by just swapping those images out. But we need to do the foundation work here in Blender. Now, the way we're going to do this is using a feature called UV mapping. And UV mapping allows us to take a 3D surface, unwrap it to lay it out on a 2D plane, apply an image to that and then wrap it back up again to project it back onto the 3D surface that we're interested in. So if we want to uh, apply an image to our main body here and to our foil lid, we can unwrap those, apply an image and then get Blender to project them back onto that 3D surface. It sounds quite complicated, but Blender does most of the hard work for us. Well, let's um, make our lives easy and start with the easier of the two. So if I hide that plastic lid, and just pick our lovely green coloured foil lid, uh, which is in fact a 2D surface anyway. So we're going to project that 2D surface onto a 2D surface, apply an image to it, and then hopefully see that rendered uh, back in Blender. The way we do that is to switch to the UV image editor window. And that's where we're going to see our 3D image unwrapped in just a second. So I've already selected, let's just make sure we've got nothing else selected, selected the foil lid here, switch into edit mode, and you see that's the, uh, an initial projection already done. That's not quite what I want. So press the U key, which brings up this UV calculation menu, and select unwrap. And we now see a straightforward projection of our 3D surface onto this 2D plane here. Now I can load up an image or I can draw on this surface, but I'm going to load up a, an existing image. Let's go to 
my pictures folder into my caricature and we'll bring up my caricature. And we've now overlaid that caricature onto our 2D representation of our 3D surface. So you can see these yellow lines represent the extent of our 3D surface and you can see that my image is going to be nicely projected onto that. So to make this all uh, hang together, just switch back over into our view here. Let's come out of edit mode. Switch into material view here, the shading view rather, and we need to specify that that's a textured face now. So we select that texture face and if we just switch from object mode to texture paint, hopefully we see that on there. And if I do a render now, say so let's go back to outliner, switch back on the lid and do a quick render. There we can see plastic lid over the top of that um, foil lid with our image on it. Okay, so let's try and do the same thing with the main body of our object. Slightly more complex as it is a 3D model, but the same principle applies. So we switch into edit mode, first of all. Now, one thing to notice is that we can't simply select that object and project onto it. Well, we could, but we're going to get some um, artifacts because actually that object includes some projections at top and bottom where it joins the foil lid and where it goes up into that little recess there. So what we really want to do is just select the outer surface. So if I block select those lower vertices and we very carefully block select holding down the shift key to add to our current selection the upper vertices as well it will just select that outer surface for us that we can project onto let's switch over into the uv image editor that's already highlighted our projection for us bring up a suitable image now actually i already created an image here in paint.net so this is the image and I've saved it as a PNG file. I can then bring up. So let's go find that file open, uh, yogurtlabel.png, open that up. I need to just zoom out a little bit. Maybe we'll make things a little bit bigger. Um, so our projection's not perfect at the moment. We can use the same, uh, scaling, grabbing, etc. keys in our UV projection mode as we can in the main uh, design surface. So if I just scale this in the Y direction, we should get a pretty good fit. That looks pretty good to me. We can go back over into Outliner, move things back over here a little bit. We need to, um, in edit mode, shading, associate this surface now with a textured face. So click on textured face. And then hopefully if we click on texture paint, we'll see that projection on there. And with any luck, if that means if we render our frame, what we see now is that projection of our label around the outside body and our projection oops, of our um, caricature onto that foil lid. So we've got our yogurt pot pretty much exactly to the point that we wanted it to be. All that uh, we need to do now is get that into Blend and WPF 